Have you ever had your iPhone suddenly get so hot that it shut down and refused to work until it cooled off? If you've owned the iPhone 15 Pro or even some of the recent titanium models, you probably know this frustration all too well. For the past couple of years, overheating has been one of Apple's biggest problems. But now with the iPhone 17 Pro, Apple says it's finally fixed it. So did they actually solve the problem or is it just another marketing trick? Let's find out. During the September 9th event, Apple made a big deal about its new cooling technology. And for good reason. For the first time ever, the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max are getting vapor chamber cooling. Until now, iPhones relied on graphite sheets to spread heat, and while that was decent, it was nowhere near as effective as a proper vapor chamber. This was one of the reasons older titanium iPhones overheated so easily, heat just got trapped inside Dotso. What's different now? The iPhone 17 Pro comes with a vapor chamber that actively moves heat away from the phone's key components. Apple even showed off a fancy video to explain how it works. And honestly, that alone would have been enough to keep temperatures down. But Apple went a step further and changed the materials to dot remember the titanium design that everyone thought looked super premium? Well, it's gone. Apple has returned to aluminum for the Pro models. And while titanium looked cool, it wasn't exactly the best choice for heat management. Aluminum, on the other hand, is much better at pulling heat away, making it a more practical material for phones that need to stay cool under pressure. Now, combine that aluminum body with the vapor chamber and you've got a phone that should, at least in theory, handle demanding apps, gaming, and long camera sessions without overheating. But Apple didn't stop at just swapping materials. The new design itself also plays a role. A lot of people online have criticized the iPhone 17 Pro's new look. Some say it's too thick, others say it's just not as attractive as before. But here's the interesting part. The design isn't just about looks. According to tech YouTuber Murwasitha Boss, the Pro models now use glass only where it's absolutely necessary, like the window at the back for wireless charging. The rest of the body is aluminum, which helps the phone stay cooler for longer. This is actually a pretty smart move. By cutting down on the amount of glass, which is terrible at dissipating heat, and using more metal, Apple is prioritizing function over style. The result? A phone that might not look as flashy to some, but works better in the long run. And if you think about it, that's exactly what Apple is going for with the Pro models, turning them into real professional devices rather than just pretty gadgets. So, does this mean the overheating nightmare is finally over? While well, real world testing will give us the full answer, everything we've seen so far suggests Apple may have nailed it this time. Vapor chamber cooling, aluminum build, and a design that favors performance, it all points to a cooler, more reliable iPhone experience. What do you think? Did Apple finally fix the overheating issue once and for all? Or will the iPhone 17 Pro still struggle under heavy use? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates on the latest tech.